At the end of the day, I, I do think life is really a single player game. It's all going on in your head. Whatever you think you believe will very much shape your reality, both from what risks you take and what actions you perform. Everyday experience of reality. If you're walking down the street and you're judging everyone, you're like, I don't like that person because their skin color. I don't like that. that oh, she's she's not attractive. That guy's fat. This person's a loser. Oh, who put this in my way? Uh, you know, the more you judge, the more you're going to separate yourself and then you're just gonna see negativity everywhere. The world just reflects your own feelings back at you. Reality is neutral. Reality has no judgments. To a tree, there's no concept of right or wrong or good or bad. You're born, you have a whole set of sensory experiences and stimulations and lights and colors and sounds, and then you die. And how you choose to interpret that is up to you. You do have that choice. That happiness is a choice. If you believe it's a choice, then you can start working on it. And I can't tell you how to find it because it's your own conditionings that are making you unhappy. Like, I can't fix your eating habits for you. I can give you some general guidelines, but you gotta go through the hard habit forming of how to eat right. But you have to believe it's possible, and it is absolutely possible. I was miserable, I'm happy as a clam. And it's not just the money, I got there before the money. How did you get happy before the money? Well, Confucius had a great saying that, uh, you know, every man has two lives, and the second starts when he realizes he has just one. Or another one is next time you get sick, because everybody gets sick every mm -hmm. now and then. It's like a happy person wants 10,000 things. A sick person just wants one thing. Mm -hmm. So it's your, it's your unlimited desires that are clouding your peace, your happiness. Have desires. You're a biological creature that stands up and says, I can do something. I, I move, I resist, I live. Just be very careful of your desires. This is the oldest, most trite wisdom. Desire is suffering. Every desire you have is an access where you will suffer. Don't focus on more than one desire at a time. The universe is rigged in such a way that if you just want one thing and you focus on that, you'll get it. But everything else, you gotta let go. In every moment, in everything that happens, you can look on the bright side of something. And so I used to do that forcibly, and then I trained it until it became second nature. There are a few things that are like high suffering, so you can't do that, other than just saying, well, this is a teacher. I slowly worked through every negative judgment that I had until I saw the positive in it. Now it's second nature to me. I also realized that like, what you want is you want a clear mind, so you want to let go of thoughts. Happy thoughts disappear out of head automatically, very easy to let go of them. Negative thoughts linger. Interpret the positive in everything very quickly, you let it go. Simple hacks, get more sunlight, right? Learn to smile more, learn to hug more. These things actually release serotonin in reverse. Mm -hmm. They aren't just outward signals of being happy, they're actually feedback loops to being happy. Spend more time in nature, you know, these are obvious. Watch your mind. Watch your mind all day long. Watch what it does. Not judge it, not try to control it, but you can meditate 24 seven. Meditation is not a sit down, close your eyes activity. Meditation is just basically watching your own thoughts like you would watch anything else in the outside world and say, why am I having that thought? Does that serve me anymore? Is that conditioning from when I was 10 years old? Everything you're a winner now in your life, you were to you, it's because you were a loser at some point. If, if you had gotten all the girls, if you had all the money, if you had everything you want, you were good looking in, in junior high or high school, uh, you wouldn't have done anything with your life. Mm -hmm. And you would have peaked early. It's like the Bruce Springsteen Glory Days song, right? You would have married yeah. your high school sweetheart, you'd be living in your hometown, you know, you'd be a manager at the local McDonald's, whatever the first <laughs> dream job you had. Thank God we didn't all get what we wanted when we were young, right? right? Or we would be trapped in that. So you have to be able to break out of where you came from.